Yeah, I'm okay. good. Also, oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're good. You're good? Yeah. Okay. Good. Hey, welcome. Oh. I have that effect on camera. So you do. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Um, you are one of the ten to watch, according to one of the ten Brits to watch, according to Variety. So you get recognised from across the states. How does it feel to, quote unquote, break America? Is that something which appeals to us Brits? Yeah. I mean, what I was told by my agent years and years ago that, like, to break America, America, if you think of it, it's like a cake. It's like a huge Bruce Bogtrotter cake. It's like a 10 tiered enormous cake. And you've got to just take teeny, teeny little bites to break America. Um, so this feels like an enormous chomp in the cake. I've definitely overextended the metaphor, um, but it feels great. I mean, I've always been really worried that my work is so British and the references are so British. I've always been worried that it wouldn't translate um, so to know that people are watching and appreciating over there feels very, very good. Was it 2017 you wrote the book? Uh, but, uh, yes, yes. So at what stage between then and now did you even think to yourself, well, oh, damn, this could be a TV series. We could, you know, put this on screen as well. You're not going to believe this. The rights were sold before the book was finished, which I kind of had to forget. The book went out for submission to publishers. Someone sneaky got their hands on it, thank God. I'm so lucky. Um, he was a scout for TV. It got sent to working title. Eric Fellner read it, uh, the three chapters I'd written, and uh, he optioned it. So I had to sort of forget about it because I had the rest of the book to write, and it obviously wasn't fiction. It was my real life, so I couldn't think of it like a potential film. I had to think of it as what happened in my real life. But I was very lucky with the process. Well, you've written books, obviously, since, and do you... <laughs> It must be hard to write now because at the back of your mind you're thinking like, oh, what about TV? What about films? Mm. Like, do you do you try to ignore those thoughts when you're writing these days? No. <laughs> no, money. I'm not mad. Yeah.